Okay. Well, we are here and we're gonna begin. Oh, that guy's hard. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go systematically. Oh, apparently there's one ghost in this temple that I haven't gotten. No, wait, not this temple. No. Disregard. It is in this area. Okay. That's fine. I guess we can start here. Oh, but can I get to the woods from here? I, no, I think I have to go through... No, I don't think I can get them through here. Hang on. I think I might have to... Well, here's the other problem that I don't like about the ghost hunt, is it has to be nighttime, and that's what makes it so tedious. But okay, um... Alright, so it's, it's in this area. I wonder if it's just here. They might just even just be here. <laughs> I just gotta wait till night. Honestly, some of them, it's not because I didn't see them, it's because I just wasn't here at night time. And that's what I never liked about this. Um, and this lantern, I don't know, I feel like it should be a thing where once you get it, you should be able to fight them as Link during the day. Or, if not, let the wolf hold it. Or Meedna hold it, and so you can fight it. Whenever. I felt like that would have been a good quality of life thing. Okay, uh, I don't want to wait around, so there's one other thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to go get bomb... water bombs. <laughs> Give me a sec. But yeah, I mean, I guess I can put an end to this tonight if I play my cards right. There's one in, the, in this area. Well, not in this area, in this region, I should say. In Elden. I can't believe just how much money, how much money this dude makes just by buying bombs on the cheap, honestly. We can't walk from here. I don't think there's that many ghosts left, chat, to be honest. No. Okay, uh, I wanna go to... There's some boulders that I want to look at. Whilst it's still daytime.
I love how they never flinch. Just this dog materializing out of nowhere. Like, no one can put two and two together. What? Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but sure. I'm finally out! Thanks, brother! I took a nap and found myself swallowed up in lava, somehow very far from home. Uh, well, yes, well, let me give you a token of appreciation, brother. This is all I have on me right now. Okay. Well, guess what? That's inventory done. Inventory is done. How does how does the Goron survive down there though? Is this is this more lore like Gorons can actually survive underwater? How are you breathing, sir? breathe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is it a thing that anything that's living by definition has to breathe to some extent? Like, is, is, to be living, does that mean you must breathe? Trying to leap off it. There we go. Gonna say no. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I'm trying to think of a living thing that doesn't technically breathe. Or, at the very least, like photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. That's like some shower thoughts right there, like you have an existential crisis over that. We've just smoked too much, you know? Start thinking about whether living things need to breathe or not. Like, is something living if it doesn't breathe? Is there such a thing? Is it night time? It's night time. Okay, we can walk. Alright, we are going to... <laughs> Gorons. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a Goron in real life? Or 
so according to this, it should be on this map here somewhere. Oh, there you go. Alright, that was easy. Okay, this map is complete now. Okay, I wish it would show the number of pose here. You know? Let's start at all Dona. I don't think there's any here, but let's just... There are none in this province. Okay. Next province. We're going to... Barren Woods. Barren Woods is clear. I guess it's just Farron. Okay, next, uh... Desert, I guess? No, Desert's clear. We cleared Desert. Uh, we'll go Lanayru. So let's go from Castle Town. I get the feeling... It's the sewers. Give me a sec. I want to see how, if you can get in there again. No, I guess it's not. Alright. I looked it up. There's I guess we just have to look. Sorry, chat. Give me a sec. Trying to think of what the likeliest spot for this would be. The annoying thing is just the day night system. But I guess let's just roll with it. I really don't think there's much left. I think it's just Lanero, then there's one somewhere in, um, around Kakariko, if not Death Mountain. And I think that's it. How many are there total? Two. I'm pretty sure there's two. There's two more. So it's just these last two. But see, the lantern would be glowing now if I was nearby. The problem is I don't know if it takes caves into account. Oh, 
Just look in caves and see if it registers. I just see one thing. I'm gonna roll out something. I just want to be certain. Pay him a visit. Hmm. Hmm, maybe not. I thought maybe there might be one here. This makes this hard. Okay, uh, let's go to... Like, Hylia. If this doesn't take caves into account, this just makes this so much harder. Because then I'm not sure how else I'm going to do this. Other than trial and error.
I'm going to use the cannon. Take a ride. I get the feeling this is just going to come down to... I don't have... One that's in a cave somewhere. It's gonna be daytime soon. All I can really do is just go around the map and when it lights up, hey.
doing the rounds, checking. I just, I just want to be right. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Hylia, like. Also thinking like where Oh What was this guy? I just want some Okay. Oh I know what this cave is. Well, it's not in this cave. Like it would have lit, it would have lit up otherwise. Hey, Cookie, what's up? Hmm. Well, I know what this is. This is the problem with this, is like, I'm not sure if... If it's a proximity thing or if it's on map, because for so a map this big... Maybe I should... Hang on, what is... I want to see... If there's information on it. Uh, Ghost Lantern. Give me a sec. I just want to know how it works. It lights up if an impo is in the area highlighted in the map. Or within a cave that can be entered. But it doesn't really clarif clarify. Like if it's as soon as you enter the screen or is it do you have to be within a certain radius of it? This might be time where I need to resort to a list. I don't know. As much as I hate to say it. There's only two remaining. Where's the other one? The other one... The other one, I'm pretty sure it's, it's this province, so... I'll find one of them. Yeah, so the other one is in this province here. I'm going in that cave. It's a 
to see if it lights up. lit up so I think it's pretty safe to assume there's nothing here them out <laughs> and then we can uh we can be done <gasps> i did kind of call it that this was going to be more tedious than uh the heart pieces and i'm going for true 100 percent i mean at this point it's the only thing remaining and there's only two of them left so i may as well like, I did a pretty good job with everything. With the exception of one slip-up that I'm not going to mention. Okay, it's not here. I just, I wish I knew if this thing was based off proximity. Or if it's just the map. I, I feel like it's just the map, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I think it's the map. So as long as I'm in this screen. I, I've been trying to confirm it, but I don't know. But I guess that's the thing. Like, let's say there's a cave, right? Let's say there's a cave somewhere on this screen. Would it light up and say, there's a, like, because there's a cave on this map? Then yes. Or is it the case of it's not going to light up? because I'm not in the cave, you know what I mean? Or a hole in the ground? That's what I'm trying to establish here. Link? Really? Can't step over this geometry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh huh. light. Thanks. 
Nice collateral damage. one here okay which one would this one be this one's Linero's one all right so I found Linero's one so it just leaves Elden then um cool so okay sun's gonna go down soon so I, I may as well wait um so it's just Elden now so let me I mean can I stress test this no, because it lit up the moment I got here. So it doesn't it doesn't test it in any way. Um I'm just trying to think where it would be in Elden. It wouldn't be the graveyard, because I, I feel like that was one of the first ones I knew. One was a tombstone, and one was just chilling there. I do remember that. I doubt there would be a third one, though. Uh, in the village, there was one at the burnt-down building. There was one even higher up, near the lookout tower. Death Mountain, the Goron flip thing. Uh, there was the cave at Kakariko Gorge. I did that. There was the one under the tree. On the bridge, North Hyrule. Okay, well, here we are. One more to go. There was a cave in Hyrule Field with two poses in it. A cave? North Hyrule Field? No, well, it's, it's in Elden. That's a thing. It has to be here. North Hyrule Field is part of Lanayru, so it's, it's not part of this. South Hy Hyrule is part of Baron, so it has to be at the... It has to be at the Gorge, Elden Bridge, Death Mountain, or the Village. It's in... yeah, I don't know. It's probably not those, because it's not, it's not the correct province. I don't get how we can teleport here, but then it doesn't let us transform right away. There's some real inconsistent rules for this. If it was this map, it would be in there, and then it's definitely not inside where the Gorons live, so it would be lit up if it was here. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's all I can do is just go around. Well, I mean, if it was here in the town, it would have lit up, right? I did check in the... Nope, see, it's not lit up here. It's not this map. It's only a matter of time. Interesting, it's not in the gorge either. I'm gonna quickly just walk into this cave, just in case, but I don't think it's in here. It would have lit up. And I was pretty adamant on coming to this one right away. Once I had the wolf uh, free transform. I just want to see if it swaps provinces if I go down to that southern field. Yeah, now it's Farron. Okay, so... That's beyond the bounds. Uh... It have to be from this map here. Any further north, and it becomes all right. Let's just, I'm gonna go north, I'm gonna see how far north I can go. Still Elden. Okay, so hang on. 
Let's just quickly check here. It's here. Alright chat, we've wrapped it up. It's here. It's there. We need to get up there though. I need the chicken. I need to be quick. This is it. Chicken. What? What was that? Don't know how I managed to fall through, but okay. All right, that's it. We're done. Go turn this in, and then we can uh, head to the finale. Kind of conveniently in the same location, so. This took longer than the heart pieces. <laughs> I imagined that was going to be the case. But, I mean, I did alright, like... Without... Like, through gameplay, it was two pose and two heart pieces that I didn't really find on my own. So, that's not bad. That was pretty thorough. Did it? Look at me. I'm back to my old self again. Thanks to you, everything in my life comes uh, is coming up roses. Oh, of course. I need to thank you. Please accept this. 200 rupees. I need to let my girlfriend know that I'm back. But hang on. Am I not remembering this correctly? Hold on. He's gone. Where does he go? Hmm? 
Gengle. Say, so I wonder where my owner went. If you find him, will he tell me where he might be? Did he go? Hmm. I'm looking for someone named Louise. You don't, where's the bar? I swear, you talk, you talk to them again and they keep giving you money, but hang on, maybe I need to find where he went. Idea where he goes, though. <laughs> Still dancing. Hold on, chat. I have to make time pass. Hang on. So like, I think the way I do it is warp outside and then come back. It's just if I can get more money, you know, that that's more magic armor. That's my my rationale right now. <laughs> okay, hang on. I would assume that I have all the stamps as well, like that's a nice round number. Right. I'm not stopping, don't worry. Don't panic. Before I end it, what are my thoughts? What's good and what needs improvement? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll save that for the closing credits because I'm pretty sure they're unskippable. And at that point, I need something to talk to. So I'll do that. I'll collect my thoughts and share it. But I mean, for me, this was my first 3D Zelda game that I've owned and played through in its entirety. So there is a bit of nostalgia for me in that one. But granted, there are, there are certainly things that I think could be done slightly better, or could have been done better.
but overall I still like the game. Still holds up, I mean. I make it sound like this game is old, but it is. It's 2006, like. It's almost 20 years old. Like, it's getting there, and three years is gonna be 20 years old, like. That, that's a scary thought. It's your favorite traditional game, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's not here. All right. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly, but I remember that talking... You, coming back here and you would, you would keep getting money. But maybe it just doesn't exist in this version? I don't know. Alright. I mean, I just wanted more for the magic armor, but I guess it's, it's not a thing. I'm sure I'll be fine, it's just... It would be nice, you know? That's what I remember the reward being, was just... Yeah, it was money, but it was money to fuel your magic armor. You just finished the playthrough after your Wii deleted the save file, oof. I mean, my old copy of the game is, is back at home with my brothers. Hang on. I didn't head to North. All right, let's march towards the end. This is in lieu of playing Metroid, which I did plan to do, but I think I'm better off just finishing this, to be honest. We'll see, maybe there's time for Metroid. Oh yeah, this, I completely forgot about this. She becomes like this gigantic being. Things were gonna go south here when I first saw it. I was like, oh no, are we gonna have to fight Mead now? But no, that's fine. She's just breaking the barrier. We've arrived! It's alright. She grew into the hat. <laughs> I did as well this weekend. When I played uh, the Zelda 2 Enhanced version of the game, like the fan-made thing, 
one of the streams got messed up because whenever Windows update happens, there's always a chance that it just resets audio routing. For those that don't know what it is, it's just something we streamers use to help uh, control individual volumes and maybe mute things that we don't want to be in VODs. It's that sort of stuff, all right? But Windows Update has a habit of just undoing all that hard work you do and just being like, nah, you have to reconfigure everything. So that happened and uh, the VOD was muted. So I went to the effort of this weekend taking said VOD and pretty much putting the music in from Zelda 2 where it made sense, so it's like, hey, it, it's as close as it would have gotten. Thankfully my voice is still in the file, so I was able to fix it up. So at least it's watchable and it's not silent. But it was a pain. I, I need to get into the habit of doing sound checks before I start. Just to prevent that from happening. I think I should do it if there's a Windows update. That's probably the best way. It's kind of eerie there's no music in this right now as well. Like, not even the iconic castle theme. After doing the uh, the Cave of Trials, or whatever it's called, this feels rather anticlimactic. <laughs> I mean, in terms of enemy densities. Also, I don't have to worry about chests, unless keys are required. I don't have to stress about chests. Let's let's put it that way. I should get them, but I don't have to stress if I don't. looks very arena-like. <laughs> oh, it's you. I have come to play. Why are you all... Sp oh, key. Yeah, but see, here's the thing about this guy. Pretty much just spam and then you win. <laughs> Shrek final battle. What are you doing in my swamp? I do a terrible Shrek impersonation, but you know, that's... Oh, 
I like Shrek, but I hate Shrek the movie at the same time. I'll tell you why. I think it's a good movie. Overall, I do. For its time, animation was excellent. However, Shrek was a movie that my younger brothers had on tape. And one of them in particular just only wanted to watch that movie. So, I have a lot of that movie and its lines burnt into my brain. To the point where I just, I can't watch that movie. Even though it, it's a good movie. But I just, I can't. I've, it, I've just, it's been played so many times when I was a teenager that I, I just can't watch it again. I mean, maybe enough time has passed now. But... Definitely, the times it's been on and other people have been watching, I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't watch this. I got, I gotta go. Lunk, he... He spoke. Like, particularly the little song they do when they get to Duloc. That's, uh, that's an earworm right there. Or just sma imagine hearing Smash Mouth every day, chat. That song. Although at least, at least with that song, I can I can listen to it nowadays, and I'll just as a joke, I'll be like, "Hey, now you're a meme song." No, no to what? That it's a meme song or no that, like, I can listen to that song? There are certain movies or TV shows that kill certain songs. That stop them from being able to be listened again. Particularly ones that are used for TV themes. Like, the theme song to Friends, for example. That has more than one verse, but, like, I can't listen to that song because I just see it as a TV show opening. It's been played more than enough years of meme on YouTube. Could not imagine it more than that. Well, before Shrek, I I'm pretty sure it was used for the movie Mystery Men. The, the Ben Stiller movie. So before, it like, the song existed way before Shrek. It wasn't made for Shrek. I'm, I'm pretty certain it was in Mystery Man. Someone will have to double check that, but I'm, I'm almost positive. But that's how it was. You know, the movie would play. And it's in the opening... It's in the opening sequence. But I think that was the movie that played the most in our household was Shrek. There's an entire ride area that I'm kind of afraid that I sh Didn't even notice it on Mystery Man. Huh. I mean, that's where I know it from. Is, is that a bad thing? That's what I associate it more than Shrek. I'm just trying to remember if it was something that was done for Mystery Men, or if it was a song that already existed. Outside because I, I reckon the map's there. 
What does the whole thing with the moblin being able to speak mean? I mean... Maybe that they're not... They're not just dumb brutes. I mean, aside from that... That movie, it was just... Certain kids' TV shows. But those, those are forgettable, because I wouldn't be paying attention to them. But Constrict was a movie, the one that I had seen. I went to see it. I went to see that that movie in the cinemas. So like before, my brothers just viewed the living crap out of it on tape like I had already seen it and I enjoyed the movie. Thank goodness that was not a Shrek TV show. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was pitched. You'd be surprised at the number of TV shows there were for things that were very, very short-lived. Or just didn't get beyond, um... The conceptual phase. Like Donkey Kong had a TV show. <laughs> Oh, Bubsy the Bobcat? Oh my god. Some of the stuff I learnt about afterwards because it didn't make it to Australia. But there's some cursed uh, TV adaptations of things. So hard to control. I love how it kind of belches before it charges. No, all right. Now, I'm sure some people have nostalgia for this TV show, but I think in the context of TV shows for this particular series, and I mean video game series, it wasn't the best, but there used to be this TV show called Sonic Underground. And I think it was very, I think it was another one that got, uh, it got, I either cancelled or it wasn't finished, but... It had some really weird episodes, that show. There's one in particular that I remember that for some reason... The scene sticks with me, and... A few years ago, I was, uh... I like, I like watching Vine Sauce and, you know, Vinny's friends, so, like, Joel was watching it. And there's a scene where... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know the context of it, but I remember it too. That's the thing, it just stuck with me, is... One of them is trying to save this baby from falling, but it's it's a robot baby. So then, the, the robot baby crashes to the ground. And, you know, explodes on impact. And then, 
the car the main character is kind of like shedding a single tear for this robot child that just exploded whilst it hitting the ground. Oh, hang on, let me see if I can find it. I, I, like pictures worth a thousand words. Uh, Sonic underground robot baby. Yeah. Oh, there's a video. Okay, hold on. Stand, stand by. I'll cut the sound off. So we don't trigger DMCA. <laughs> DMCA! Um, yeah. This is fair use because I'm adding commentary to this. Okay. Check this out. I'll leave it muted. So it's like, going after a child. <laughs> the child explodes. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I remember that. That's the thing. But I don't remember what the episode was about, but like that... That imagery there. I don't know. It just, it's stuck. <laughs> I, got, I wouldn't be able to tell you what the episode was about, but I absolutely remember that happening. <laughs> uh, that is so sad. Dude, there's some, cur there's some cursed stuff from old TV shows. I've talked about the animals of uh, Farthing Wood as well. It's a TV show that aired here in Australia, but it originally was from the UK. And this one, um, yeah. The plot was pretty much just these animals trying to find a new home after their home was destroyed by the humans. And so they're trying to find their new home, but along the way, I mean, some of the animals get eaten by other animals. Um, they get hit by cars or something like that. It's just brutal, and it was a kid's show that aired here. <laughs> just scarring. I also love watching um, the Mario Brothers Super Show. Because that was something that was riddled with animation errors, and they were just funny to watch. What am I not doing right here? Hang on, what's the shape? Or is it... No, is this one of these things as a set set path and I'm not seeing it on the ground. I think I need to make it return to where it started, so hang on. What the f- What am I missing here? There's gotta be a clue to this somewhere. Or am I miss- am I still missing one? I might be missing one. Hmm. 
Wait, it was scarring seeing the eyeball fly? Oh, yeah. See, that one stops spinning by the time it gets back, so hang on. I think it, this is something very specific. And then come back to this one. Let's try it. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna hate the answer to this, aren't I? It's just gonna be something really specific. So, uh... I don't know, anyone got any ideas? I wonder if it's just as simple as this. Hold on. L-shaped? What do you mean L-shaped? It's a triangle. I did check the ground. Maybe there's a clue nearby. Ah! Oh. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Okay. It just occurred to me what I'm doing. Yeah, it's a Triforce, so I need- I need to draw a Triforce. Okay, so that's the bottom. Then across. Then down. Then up. And then that way. No, it's a tri- it's a triforce. It's definitely a triforce. I just need to- I need to draw it. Um... I mean, either way, the move is like this. Okay. 
Okay, hang on. It's so annoying. Okay, that way. That way. So that's the left side. This is the right side. Then that way. No. Oh, would that would that have worked? Hang on. Would that have worked? No. Let's just try it. Mm -mm. Hmm. I'm gonna look at the map. Okay, so let's say... One, two, three. I'm doing it here. You can only do five points, right? One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't work. One, two, three, four. The problem is there's always one line missing. Unless I'm misinterpreting it. Um, hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna look for a clue. Harold Castle Boomerang puzzle. Oh. Okay, there's a clue. Apparently there's a clue. <laughs> okay. Now you're right, it's kind of a, a Z. So it's it's middle, then up, then okay. Start from middle. Well, that was a waste of everyone's time. That was overcomplicating. I was like, oh yeah, I'll do a Triforce. It's a map as well. So I went through all this effort just to get the map. That's, yep. It's good use of time. First try. <laughs> I mean, I kept my promise about the heart paces. I didn't say anything else would be, uh, quick. <laughs> now that that's pretty much it. I'm not bothered now. There is a chest on the, uh, the left side, but... I think we're good. Like, that's just going to be money or something. There's, there's no point. Do, 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 do. Mm. 
I love this rendition of this theme. As if I didn't have an, I didn't get enough of fighting this asshole. <laughs> I guess it's one v one, so it's fine. Why did they give the same word of chest to a place in the area body and a treasure box? You're asking the wrong person. I mean, that's English for ya. In Spanish, that's not a problem. And I'm sure it's not a problem in other languages. I mean, at least they make the same sound. Like, it's still chest and chest, it just has different meanings. But look at, say, bass and bass. Spell exactly the same can sound different. Or how about the worst one that I learned about? Mic... <laughs> the microphone... Being spelled M-I-K-E instead of M-I-C. But then Jim is still G-Y-M instead of J-I-M. Like... I don't know, English is just a frustrating language. Anyone that had to learn it after their primary language, I feel for you. I had to go through that. That's nice. I mean, that's nice of them. Hmm. Oh, wait. I think I know what it is. People who pronounce look like Luke, yeah. No, I mean, English is, uh, yeah, super inconsistent. Hmm. 
You know what the worst kind of English is, chat? And the Americans are guilty of this. Sorry, Americans, but like... Words like... Baloney, or at least the way they pronounce it. But then it's spelt Bologna. Stuff like that. Or how, I guess the British also do it with town names. And we, we're guilty of that in Australia because it carries over, but you know, the, like the town of Cockburn being pronounced Coburn. Uh, it's Coburn. Spelt Cockburn, but pronounced Coburn. That would suck if you had that as a surname. And you had to make that explanation constantly, just... What on earth? Am I just not quick enough? Oh, I missed again. Am I really going to have to go back for more oil? No, this has to be a combination thing. There's absolutely no way it's making me do this over and over again. It teaches why family name is pronounced like cocaine. I can see that happening. Use Din's fire, I wish. It would be nice if the goddess powers existed in this game. They're always fun. What if it's something that I can't do right now? Have a look around. I refuse to believe it. it's just a timing thing. These ones don't go out, that's interesting. <laughs> try, 
try to pronounce what? Oh, that's... See, that's just a... Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that. So, it's C-H-O-L-M-O-N D-E-L-Y I assume the, e the end of it is like Dealy. But I'm not sure how to do the C-H-O-L-M-O-N. That's the part where, like, I'm not sure. It'd be like Cherman Dilly or something like that, but that doesn't sound right. I'm pretty sure, like, the Mon might not even be pronounced. Chumley? Jeez. It's a beautiful language, English. Well, I don't see any clues here. I really don't remember any of this, so... very carefully. I don't really see anything. I'm going through the other door for now. There's another door. Like, let's just not stress about this one. This is like an escape room. Like, why have they designed Hyrule Castle like an escape room? Honestly. <laughs> this is inconvenient. Like, imagine your house was an escape room. wind. Oh, you know what I didn't consider? Okay. I should have turned into a wolf and used wolf sensors. That might have given a clue. Chat. I don't see anything that kind of points the... Alright, how about this? Because I'm sure it's just, it's a trial and error thing. I gu I'm guessing this is another one of these combinations. But <laughs> somewhere it's going to tell me where to do it. It's just, I don't know. So, how about... We do the old, uh, the old fashioned tactic of brute forcing it. Does that, does that sound cool? Okay. That 
did not seem correct. Let's try another one. One that's a little less linear. I'm gonna do an X. Uh now I'm not sure if that that's I guess the... Uh, I don't know. It's just what happens when you change architects halfway through a project. What? Your house just becomes an escape room? Okay. I guess let's go in through here because this is this leads back to the central room. The button that just lowers a chandelier. Can't jump on it. <laughs> I mean, now this is within reach, I think, maybe. Or is this just a way to get back up here? Hmm. Okay. Well, there was another door, so... Apparently... I was gonna say, there's a chest. <laughs> Back to the no theme. It is a little eerie that there's no music. But I suppose it's, it's just setting up the vibes. Okay, there's another key acquired. There's another chest over here, so let's just... Boss key. Huh? Is that... 
Oh, it's you. Friends have arrived. That guy has a bazooka. <laughs> To be honest, show would be fine without the help. <laughs> yeah. I mean, prophesized hero, I don't know. I think we'll, we'll do okay. Ah, oh, nuts. Whoa. Oh, this is Nate. That way, I kind of figured. This is like some Lost Woods shit. I would assume it's safe to go this way now. There was one more chest in the central room. Which I think I should probably do, because if they're light arrows, then yeah, we need to get the light arrows, so. I'm not going to be quick to do this. You're not going to help me now? I might not be able to do this yet, but let's just see. Okay, hold on. Apparently leading to a bunch of loot, but no, this is leading up the stairs. We don't want to do that. There's two big chests in first floor, so I'm going to go for them. This is definitely leading to the end. So unless there's like light arrows, maybe I should just look that up. There's light arrows, so hang on. Just just a sec, chat. That's uh, what whoa. Windows just decided to be like, oh no, like, tab me out. I'm still here, right? Okay, I'm still here. <laughs> um, that was weird. Did it do anything weird? Shit, I hope it didn't do anything to the VOD that's more important. It seems to be fine. Okay, I found the answer. The stamps. No, I'm good. Light arrows, yeah, we don't get them in this game, so good. I mean, they are, they do exist, but we don't get them. So, cool, we can progress. Apparently we still weren't done with the stamps.
<laughs> missing stabs. Well, I mean, look. I've 100% it in the context of vanilla content. How about that? Oh no, I can't. I can't uh, use my stamps on on the Miiverse. happening. Tired of fighting these things. <laughs> okay. Drops a bunch of money. Oh, there's, there's a room in here with treasure, but I don't have the key. But this is, uh, I assume it's just money and arsenal stuff, so I can be forgiven. Close enough. All right. Here we go. I actually don't remember. What, well, m maybe I'll remember once I start it, but what to look forward to. This looks cool though. I mean, visually, this was great, and it looks even better now. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> so you're Ganondorf. <laughs> I've been dying to meet you. Your people have long amused me, Midna, to defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. <laughs> pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power 
would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? I don't think. Ha, such conceit. But if you are one of the chosen wielders of power, as you claim, I'll, I'll risk everything to deny you. <laughs> Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. Very well. Deny me, then. Yes. Try to deny me. You and your little friend. <laughs> okay, no, Puppet Zelda. I remember this. <laughs> Alright, it's just suddenly, yep, yeah, okay. I remember this. This is kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Both of you, faithless fools who would dare take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. <laughs> so you choose, and so you shall feel my wrath. I know what I'm looking for, because <laughs> I remember this. Do it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. That's all we're waiting for. Dude. The other thing is I'm running a projector, so there might be like a little latency. It's not true capture. I'm not doing it through the path through way because I'm lazy. Just compensate for lag. music though. Come on, I swung. <laughs> I just need to keep spamming, honestly. Like, I'm trying to be too precise, but...
Okay, I got it. I love how you have this arsenal, but then when it comes down to it, it, it just... It's either the sword or the bow, ultimately. hate this. I mean, not originally, I'm just saying, like, in the context of having to do this thing in Zelda games. It's come up more than once. Oh, uh, yeah. Turns into pig mode. You know what? It kind of makes sense. Breath of the Wild, this is the form that you end up fighting eventually. It didn't click. I mean, it's a boar, not a dog. If you want to be lewd and say doggy style, then sure. I forget how this works. That's it. We got this. Well, it's a boar. You can see it has tusks. What dog has tusks?
he's doing it again. Oh, again? Okay. I'm down for that. Ooh. Lucky. dodging it. <laughs> What's she gonna say? He's changing strategy, not only... Wait. He's changing strategy. Not only can you not confuse him, but you won't be able to attack. Base against based. How about matching? Okay. Fine. Command. It's it's a okay. <laughs> this is a little annoying. Bullshit. <sighs> I feel like I'm timing this right. happening. I see the I see the input but it's not registering. Why? Why? What is happening? I push A and it looks like something's about to happen, but then it doesn't. Or maybe not lock on. Maybe the locking on is fucking me up because it makes me jump. That might be it. Nope, it's... <sighs> I'm just going to keep spamming A. Fuck this. <laughs> no tact. 
When in doubt, spam. What the fuck is this? Maybe because I'm pressing it twice? Nope. I don't remember this being this tricky. Maybe this is something that translated better with motion controls. Forgot how the ghost is run. I don't, though. I, I'm pressing the button, and it does the animation, but then it cancels it. Christ. I didn't do anything different that time, for the record. I did not do a single thing different. Unless it's just the controller being janky or something. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was up. I, did... I pressed it. I held it. It may have been a double tap by accident, but I don't know. Well, we can safely assume this is over, if she's glowing. <laughs> Princess, I... Hi. Say nothing, Meena. Your heart... Oh, your heart and mine were as one, however briefly. Such suffering you have endured. Only two phases, yeah. I mean, as far as Ganon fights go, this one... <laughs> this one is, uh... not as difficult. <laughs> they definitely struggled more on the previous ones. <laughs> the Skyward Sword one, oh my god, that one was, was a struggle. Question mark, question mark to what? The Skyward Sword being a struggle? 
I said because of the motion control thing. <laughs> and because the precise sword fighting where you had to make it hit an angle. Oh, to what user said? Oh, like, if Ganon gives good head? I mean, that's just a comment that Ganon became a head. That's it. Dun dun dun. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> it's not a two-phase fight. Spirits of the light, wielders of great power that shines far and upon the lands of our world. In my hour of need, grant me the light to bane or banish evil. Lunk. Chosen hero. Lend us the last of your power. Imagine if she only got three arrows. Well, if she's good enough with them, three might just be enough. I'll try to slow Ganondorf with my light arrows. You target him and keep him within range of my arrows. Oh, this is this is off to an excellent start. Yeah, horse fight, yeah. Horse fights, yeah. <laughs> I hate horse fights. This is why this area is so empty. It's just purely because of this. They needed a nice wide area where you could do this fight without really being interrupted. Hey Zelda, where, where's, where's the light arrows? I love how he just waits as well. <laughs> what a polite villain. Uh. 
You know what makes this fight annoying is those things... You see the pattern they shoot them in? You can't really predict the direction the horsemen are going to go in. It's like... I was perfectly between a couple, but then they just decided to head in just random directions. Like, watch. Yeah, okay. So, no matter what, I was going to get hit by that. Because they went sideways. Like, why not just drop the horse directly on me? Just do it at this point. Just drop a phantom horse directly on Link every 30 seconds. You may as well. And Zelda really does not does not know how to shoot. I have to pretty I have to line up the horse. It has to be like straight on, otherwise it just doesn't work. Oh. I didn't think that would work. Oh, got it, yeah. Like, what, what was that? Squandered opportunity. I don't want to be too close to them, because every time I am, I get hit by those phantom horses. Imagine having, like, an interaction button being the same as the combat roll. Look, you have to be standing perfectly still. Zelda, can you just... <laughs> I appreciate the effort, but... The fact that she's shooting where the horse is facing, when in reality, like, that's not what's gonna happen. She's gonna shoot independently of the horse. You know, like... They may as well get the horse to shoot at this point, you know what I mean? Like, give, give the horse the bow and arrow. It's effectively the same thing. Then at least I'll be like, alright, let's line up the horse. It's alright, opponent's got this. Yeah. 
go, go. A player and a snipe. Good work, Apona. Thanks for good shoot. <laughs> An impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Would you hear my desire to take this foul blade and use it to blot out the light? Something, something. I'm sure that's what he said. Okay. is ticking down here. Seem to be working. money. Just this camera, it just keeps swapping. So to do this move, it's, it's difficult.
I'm nearly out of my my super form. Oh shit, just when my armor ran out. Oh shit. <laughs> you know what? That's pretty fitting. My magic armor ran out with that last clash and then with that, use the opportunity to just Stab him in the heart. Where were the light arrows there, Zelda? Did you run out? Do not think this ends here. The history of light and shadow will be written in blood. Broke his cock in half? What? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> cock injured. <laughs> why, do, why am I laughing at that? I mean, if the theory is correct, just where he has that wound is where the, uh, the mummified Ganon in Tears of the Kingdom has the wound as well, so. I mean, we'll find out, but that's the working theory at the moment. That these two games are linked. There we go, I've made this true form. <laughs> What's my favorite Zelda game? Uh, for me, A Link to the Past. Just because that's the one I played the most as a kid. Favorite 3D one? Probably this one. What? Say something. Am I so beautiful that you've no words left? That's it. So, yeah, let me share my thoughts about this game. Uh, first of all, thanks for reaching the end of the playthrough here. She's more marketable as a Mogwai, really. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're into that, sure. So, yeah, I mean, this one, it was the first 3D Zelda that I got to play through its entirety. Um, never had a Nintendo 64 or a GameCube, so 
I went from Zelda one and a link to the past to this one. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I love this game. For its storytelling, it's probably one of the best. Um, just cause cutscenes are pretty excellent. And the darker tone was definitely necessary, especially since back in the day, people were really disappointed that Wind Waker was cartoony. So people were really happy with this one, just because it, it went to the realistic side and then it went dark, which is a contrast to Wind Waker's like comical side, which I did enjoy um, now that I've played it, so. Things that I think could have used improvement, and we're talking about the HD version here, because I'm not sure what they did from a quality of life perspective. I'd, I'd have to look, and the thing is, I don't remember enough of the, the original to kind of be like, oh yeah, they did that. that I'm glad they did that. Uh, but I will say the, the ghost hunting aspect, I think, was probably the most annoying thing in this game. Um, just the fact that you had to wait for nighttime, like there was the inn. I'm pretty sure we could stay at the inn to make it nighttime, but it just... I feel like that lantern, if it was added in this, like let's say that that's what they did add, I feel like they could have made it so the lantern would let you fight the ghosts whenever you wanted. So as long as you had the lantern, you'd be able to either see them or maybe Maiden that carries it and, you know, you can fight it whenever, right? The... I don't know. So I think that's one thing they could have cleaned up. Um, the counter on the maps was appreciated, though, because I don't think that was in the original. I don't, I don't remember that for sure. Uh, and... I'm trying to think what else... I guess the opening... It felt long. I don't know. I don't know about other people, but the opening did feel a bit long to me. I just remember that I, I kind of wanted to leave that town and couldn't. And got stuck. A few times. Not, not in this playthrough, just when I played it back in the day. And it kind of felt like the same case here. I just wanted to leave the town. But, you know, it is what it is. Other than that, I don't really have much else to say about this one in terms of what I think could have been done better. It's not to say it's perfect, but... Um... Okay, you know what? Yes, I have one. Since it happened to me in this playthrough, the, the Sky Palace. Can we talk about that one for a sec? <laughs> so... By design, all the... All the dungeons and everything, they kind of have this contingency where if you forget something at, towards the end, you can backtrack pretty easily. Um, whether it's like, oh, this door or this mechanic, like you have an item now that lets you backtrack through the dungeon really easily. So if you do miss something, eh, it's not, it's not the end of the world. It, it's only like a couple of extra minutes to go back and get what you missed and then go fight the boss. That Sky Palace, I can't believe there was no contingency there. The fact that if you drop through the fan and you don't notice the um, the ball in the ceiling to turn on the other fan, if you don't notice that at all and you drop on the floor, your only recourse is, well, you're going to have to go through that entire left side of the map again and that takes 10 to 15 minutes. And then, you know, if you're like me and you... You somehow glitch through the fan. <laughs> and it forces you to do it a second time. That's like the dungeon taking you an extra 25 minutes. Because there was no contingency for that. So, anyway. Minor complaint. Probably wouldn't happen to anyone else. It just happened to me. Ugh. But yeah. This is a... Uh, this is a great game. I kind of do wish they would bring it to the Switch, but I don't know, chat. My gut tells me they're not going to. As sad as that might be, I don't I don't think they will. And it's just for the reason of when they do these ports from the Wii U, 
they always try to add something new to the game to kind of justify it as being a new full price game. So it's one of these things that people would want this ported, but if we just got this and nothing else, and Nintendo sold it for $60, people would hate it. So I think that's why they're not doing it. Because they, they can't really add anything to be like, well, yep, this is worth $60 again. So that's my gut instinct as to why we haven't seen Twilight Princess HD or Wind Waker HD on the Switch. I mean, maybe I'm hoping one day I'll be wrong and they'll release it, but I, I think at this point that is possible why. <laughs> they could add more stamps. Well, if it's a dollar a stamp, they're going to have to add like another 60 stamps. Um, yeah. So, this was one of the longer games. And I think I did it in a pretty good amount of time. Well, I guess this is for well, huh? We'll do the epilogue. Light and shadow can't mix, as we all know. But, never forget there's another world bound to this one. Shadow and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I know now the reason the goddesses left the mirror of twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. Zelda, your words are kind and your heart is true. If all in Hyrule are like you, then maybe you'll do alright. Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror is around, we could meet again. Lunk. Tears of the kingdom! <laughs> Just kidding. That's the tear of the kingdom. See you later. Imagine, imagine if this is actually a plot point. I'm just somehow right about this, but no. I think Maid Maidna was definitely the best assistant in a Zelda game. I have yet to see another one that uh was as good. I mean, she was more than just a plot device. She's not a kingdom? No, but she represents another kingdom. <laughs> Alright. That wraps up Twilight Princess. Is Maidna in the other in other games? Sadly, no. I kinda wish they would do more with her, but um every Zelda game kinda with a couple of exceptions, every time we get a new one, they take place in a different era. Hyrule Warriors, yeah, but that doesn't count. The Warriors games are they considered canon? Aside from um Calamity. Which is like telling the events of uh, what happened before Breath of the Wild. I don't think the normal Hyrule Warriors is canon. At least to my understanding. Maybe I'm wrong. Like the Warriors games are different. So, yeah. Uh, the next game that I'm going to play... In order of release is Phantom Hourglass, so we're going to the Nintendo DS, so the visual fidelity is going to be less, because these are going to be early... We're talking about the original DS as well, not the 3DS, so... 
yeah. But I think that they're, they're relatively short games, so we should be okay. But we've got Phantom Hourglass, then Spirit Tracks. I'm not sure about what I'm going to do with Skyward Sword, because the thing is, I, I have played it, the HD version when it came out. So my plan originally was to go through New Game Plus on it, just so, you know, we have a fresh playthrough, and it's in line with me playing through the entire series until Breath of the <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom comes out. That was the original plan, it's just, uh, yeah. I don't know how we are for time, there's still quite a bit to do, and the game launches in May, which is not that far away. <laughs> we'll see. No getting hearts, what, in Breath of the Wild? I mean, I'm always going to do that. That's how I played Breath of the Wild, I'll probably play it like that again. Tears of the Kingdom will probably... Well, it depends. I don't even know what the format for it is. If they're doing shrines again or not. If it's the shrine system, sure. If it's more like a traditional... Skyward Sword. I don't do that for the traditional Zelda games. I just... I don't like it. For those, for me, it's... I have to get all the hearts and heart pieces. That's my... My must. But Breath of the Wild, because it was more like Zelda 1, that's why I was more willing to do that, because it's kind of... You don't have to get heart pieces there. But no, I mean, it's already going to be hard on New Game Plus anyway. But I won't play... Phantom Hourglass as quickly as this one, because I this was a long one, and Phantom Hourglass is not as long, so... I will be putting more time into Metroid, and I do want to play Animal Crossing more, it's just... When I got to Twilight Princess, I was like, oh no, I need to dedicate some extra time. Because otherwise this could go for two weeks, and I, I didn't want that to happen. So... We had some marathon sessions of this a couple times. Can't skip! <laughs> I'm at the end. Oh, are you kidding me? Dude, what do you mean? I just watched credits. What do you mean more credits? Uh, <laughs> there's nothing else to see. Okay. Do you want, chat, do you want me to keep talking or do you want me to wrap? Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll wrap it up. As it's, it's like here. So I'll do my, like, outro thing, but we'll, we'll stick around to the end. Uh, yeah, first of all, thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate you, uh, spending time here. You know, it's always humbling when there's a bunch of people watching me do whatever. So, appreciate you all for that, and, uh, thank you if you're new around here and checking out the content. Hope you have enjoyed what I've been doing. Now, I will be back tomorrow, and we will be starting Phantom Hourglass, just to not waste time, so we'll do that. And I will definitely do Metroid Prime tomorrow, so we'll be 100% playing that tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Whilst I'm away, if you want to watch more of my content, you can find me over on YouTube. Just, uh, do a search, or you can go to shambles.gg, which is my website. You can get links to everything there. So, have a look. Uh, there's a VODs channel, there's a Highlights channel, and there's one where I've been doing streams on YouTube, so... Different things. Check it out. And for you YouTubers watching it later, thanks for uh, tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to support the channel, the easiest thing you can do is just do the thumbs up thing. Or let me know if you enjoyed it, to drive all that fun algorithm stuff. <laughs> but, you know, don't have to. Appreciate ya if you do. Hey, good timing. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Swipe right on Tinder. Donate your firstborn child. Uh, sacrifice a goat to the Blood Lord. Uh, you know, just everything that'll do whatever is necessary to push my content to other people's feeds. 
No. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I need to go get some rest. Uh, I have work in the morning, so. Again, back tomorrow. We'll start Phantom Hourglass and we'll do some Metroid, so. Hope you will join me for that. Yeah, take care.